This video is going to introduce you to basic features of Outlook and this is the first video from the series of three Outlook video tutorials. Microsoft Outlook is a premium tool for communication via email. It has advanced features which can help you organize emails, calendars, searches and network better. This tool is designed to fulfill your digital communication and networking needs primarily at workplace but it is also used at schools and homes. Over 500 million users of Microsoft Outlook send emails, use calendars and complete other such tasks within seconds with the aid of Outlook. In this video I'm going to take you through basic features of Outlook which would include navigation around Microsoft Outlook, basics of how to send an email, how to check an email, how to reply, delete and forward email messages, how to add an attachment to the email or open an attachment, how to add signature to the message, how to print a message and also how to create a contact and address book and how to manage spam mails. So let's get familiar with various tabs in Outlook. Let's go to the Home tab. This is where you can send a new email. You can delete emails. You can send various emails to your junk folder if you feel they're spam. You can reply to messages. You can forward them. You can create a meeting invite from here. You can create rules. You can mark your messages if you would like to follow up or you can categorize them in various divisions. You can also directly access your address book from here or find a contact from here. You can also update Outlook from here as well. The other way to update Outlook is go to the send receive tab and there you can simply click here and you can update Outlook from here, your inbox, send items, so on and so forth. You can also see the progress of updation from show progress button. Then you can go to folders tab, create new folders from here. You can copy a folder. You can also clean various folders from here, change folder properties, so on and so forth. Under the view tab, you can change the settings of Outlook. You can change your view from here. You can also change the Outlook by going to the layout section and you can change as to how you would like your messages to appear on the right hand side, on the left hand side or at the bottom so on and so forth. You can also go to the file tab and under that there's something called options. You can click on that and you can change various settings such as mail settings, calendar settings, you can add holidays of various countries in your calendar. You can also change the settings of your tasks from here and so on and so forth. So now let's look at how we can create a new email. So go to the home tab and under new click on new email. Another window would pop up with various options such as to, cc, from, send and this particular portion is where you can type your message. Where it says subject if you click in that box, you can type in the subject of your email. Adjacent to the To tab, you can type in the email address of the person or you can also type in the email address of the person in the CC tab as well. And then you can simply click Send to send the message. I'm going to just click Close here. Next is if we would like to reply to a certain message. So let's say you've received an email. This is your email. I have double clicked to open it. And let's say you would like to reply to this message. So you can simply click on reply button and it'll open another window where you can type in the message and click on send. And then it'll go. In case you would like to forward this message to somebody, you can simply click on forward and the same applies. 
Now let's say you would like to delete a certain email. You can simply click on that email and hit the delete button from here under the home tab. You can also reply reply all and forward to that particular message from the home tab as well. Now let's say you would like to refresh your Outlook. In order to do that, just simply go to Send and Receive tab and under Send and Receive section, click on Send and Receive Groups and then click on Inbox adjacent to your email and it'll refresh the Outlook. Now if you would like to add an attachment, simply open a new email and under the Message tab under include there's something called attach file click on that and you can attach any file you would like to send to the receiver if you would like to attach a calendar invite you can click on attach item and then click on calendar and you can attach a calendar invite if you would like to send a business card you can do the same by clicking on attach item then click on business card and simply send your business card or anyone else's business card but that person has to exist in your address book if you've received an attachment then you can simply open the message and click on where it says message and click on this particular attachment and double click on it so that you can open the attachment so now I have closed that All right, we're going to learn how to create a signature now. It's basically telling the user my name, my designation, the name of the company, my cell number, or my office number. So this is something you don't want to have to type every time you create a message or you reply to a message. You simply want to click on the button and it'll automatically appear or it'll automatically appear either ways. So, I'm going to show you how you can do that. Open a new message, then go to the Insert tab, then under Include, click on Signature. Currently, I already have a signature for my name, Surabi, so I'm going to teach you to create another signature. So, just simply click on Signatures here, and under Select Signature to Edit in the Email Signature tab, click on New create a name for that and click OK once you do that now you need to click in this space where it says edit signature and type in whatever text you would like to appear in the signature so go ahead type in your name type in your designation and name of the company cell number you can also change the font of the signature by clicking here and you can also identify whether you'd like it bold italics I'd rather prefer a smaller font because signature is something which should appear in very small font size the font size of the signature should always be smaller than the size of the text in the body of your email Thanks and regards. Okay. Ensure that it's all in the same font. And then go ahead, click OK. So let's just close this new email. And now I'm going to click on a new email. I can go ahead and insert a new signature. So I'm going to click on Insert. And under Include, I'm going to click on Insert. I'm going to click on signature and in that I'm just simply going to choose the signature which I would like to insert and here it has appeared. So this is how quickly and easily you can create a signature and once it's created you don't have to insert it every time. It's just that I already have a signature in my body. I have already created a signature therefore I just showed you how you can create and insert a signature in the body of an email. All right, now let's learn how to print an email message. Once you have your message open, 
and let's say this is your message window there are two ways to print it first you can either click on the icon here with the printer on it and once you do that it will take you to the printing window where you can just simply select the printer you would like to use and click on print the other way is going to the file tab once you have the message open then click on print on left hand side and similarly you need to select the printer and just simply click on print so this is how easily you can print a message now let's say you would like to create an address in the address book so simply go to the home tab and under find there's something called address book click on it once you do that another window would appear in that click on file and click on new entry once you do that it'll ask you select the entry type let it be new contact if you do not want to create a group and if you want to create a group you need to click on new contact group but in this case we're just simply going to create a new contact and under this go ahead and select contacts and click OK another window would appear and in that go ahead and fill in the details such as the title of the person so let's say miss and type in Surabi SS Shrivastava and I'm going to click OK and let's say an email address I'm going to type in and then I'm going to click on save and close once you do that notice the new contact has appeared in the address book contacts so this is how easily you can create a contact in your address book oftentimes we end up receiving spam emails Outlook tries its best to be able to protect you from such emails in order to protect yourself from junk emails you need to go to the home tab under delete there's something called junk drop down you need to click on that and then go to junk email options another window will pop up and it has various options the first tab contains options to set the level of restrictions when you receive an email the first option which says no automatic filtering this is basically your allowing all emails to come to your inbox instead of going to your junk folder the second and the third option is similar except for the degree of protection the first option says low most of the emails that appear to be junk will be filtered here if you select high then most of the junk email is caught but some regular mail may be caught as well in this particular option the last option is safe lists only in this case you only receive email from the people who have sent an email to you and you have replied to them in addition they exist in your safe senders list this list can be created by going to the safe senders tab and clicking on add simply type in the email of the person which you know is not going to send you a spam mail it could be emails from your boss or your own gmail account or your friends gmail account so on and so forth and then just simply click OK and it will be added here so this is how you can set junk email options in addition to that there's something called block sender under junk option if you click on that any message sent by that particular sender would be blocked in future and you will not be able to receive any message from that particular email so you can use that for junk options in addition to that let's say you notice that a particular email should have been in your inbox but it is there in junk folder so in order to undo that just click on that email then under home tab go to junk and select not junk so any future email from that email address would directly go to your inbox 
So these are some very simple options to protect you from spam mailing. This video was brought to you by CXO Learning Academy, a premier learning initiative by CXO Math. For any queries, you can email us at learning at cxomath.com. Thank you.